The media often portrays legal gun owners as irresponsible redneck extremists, complete with mullets, camo, and hold my beer, watch this kind of antics. Now, like most stereotypes, it's not representative of the majority of the group. But there are some things that can be said about us as a group. Like, we tend to be more politically active, and we're less prone to commit crime. What can't be said about us, however, is that we're more politically conservative. Let me explain. The last census tells us there are 314 million people in the United States, 240 million of which are adults. Now, most recent estimates put the number of legal gun owners at about 80 million, or one-third of the adult population. Now consider that in recent polls, 38% identified themselves as politically conservative, 34% as moderate, and 23% as liberal. Amongst conservatives, 41% report owning a gun, accounting for about 38 million gun owners. Less than half, 42 million gun owners identify themselves as liberal or moderate. In fact, 28% of Democrats report owning a gun. Now, it's very true that gun votes tend to go down party lines, but we shouldn't confuse liberal politicians with liberal-leaning people. People vote for a variety of reasons that have nothing to do with guns. To illustrate that point, a poll last summer asked what the most important political issue was, and only 3% answered gun control. That means 97% likely picked their candidate on other issues. I've talked to several left-leaning gun owners that would like to be more involved in gun rights but feel uncomfortable amongst other gun owners. One recently told me that he'd like to be more involved and even organize for gun rights, but that every time he brings up the subject, he hears, those damn liberals, so he just avoids the issue. This could be even more daunting if a liberal or moderate gun rights supporter wishes to attend a rally. As the Yankee Marshall recently pointed out, it's common to hear speeches about religion, abortion, or a variety of other issues that have nothing to do with gun rights. This keeps away people who might otherwise wish to participate. As I mentioned before, gun owners are about one-third the adult population, and somewhat less than 50% of households have guns. But any way you slice it, we as gun owners are in the minority. We can't afford to alienate half of our ranks by mixing gun rights with other traditional conservative issues, or by blaming half the populations for the gun rights agenda. If we keep pro-gun rallies and videos about guns and say, those damn anti-gunners instead of those damn liberals, then we can make all gun rights supporters feel welcome. If we do this, our ranks will swell and our rights will be more secure.